Hi everyone, it's Jerry. I'm on chess.com and I'm going to try my luck at three tactics puzzles. So let's see, playing as white. Mmm, it's probably a a study. Um I'm thinking there's something fancy with attacking the queen. Yeah, most likely a study puzzle. Inserting first a check. Is that going to do anything? Maybe. Let's consider... I don't think that this is going to go anywhere. If we give a check, king d7, and uh, I want to keep the knight within reach of the queen. So... Suppose we start with this. Queen takes rook. We don't have anything good there. How about this check? This is maybe something, yes. Yeah, okay, so this this is the idea. We give a check here, and then the king has to go to one of these two. And uh after after check king c seven we can play rook to a five. And on queen takes rook we wouldn't have anything there. <laughs> Um, what do I mean to say? Oh, on this check, king to e7, then we would go rook to a5, and on queen takes rook, we would have knight to c6 check. But suppose check king to c7. Oh, check king c7, we would go to knight to b5 straight away with the fork. Okay, so after this check, the king is going to go here. Then we could come over to a5. And what are the options for the queen? She doesn't have very many. With the king on e7, uh, she could try to come out along this diagonal. Rook on d5, king on e7. Rook coming over now to a5. And where can the queen go? She could only go to d6. But when she's on d6, then there's a fork on f5. So that must be the trick. Inserting first to check. And then swinging over here. And one way or the other, the knight's going to land a fork on the next move. So they just went with capturing the rook, and we are now picking up the queen. Okay, let's try number two. Team white. Wow. Very simplified. White to move and draw, huh? Okay, how do we draw this? I imagine you have to approach the pawn. Yeah. You have to approach the pawn. Mm. Okay, it's probably between one of these two. King f3 or king to f4. Coming to h3, trying to hang on to this pawn is an immediate loss, pretty much, because king h3, f4, the king is flushed away from defending here, and next king takes pawn, and black still has two pawns. Which is a win, so it's probably going to be king f4 or f3. Why would we maybe go to f3, maybe? So, king f3, king takes pawn, king f4. And uh, we're opposite the king. Um, but let's just, let's just go direct. Let's, let's test this variation out first. King to f4, king takes pawn. King takes pawn. And... If they push, then we just go here. And if the king goes to h3... We'll just approach this pawn and hunt him down. So king f4, king takes pawn, king takes pawn. From that position, if they push the pawn, we just go to f4. If they move the king to the third rank, we approach the pawn and win it next. I'm assuming the test is going to be after king f4, king g6, what do we do there? But that's not really much of a test. King f4, king g6, we play to e5. And next, we're going to scoop up the f5 pawn. 
I'm not sure what I'm missing with this one. I'm not sure what the the big trick is. So Oh, 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 here's the trick. Um yeah, this is what it's going to test. After h5, we have to find an accurate king move. So let's just uh find the accurate king move in this position. Yeah. So this is the last test. If we go here, king to f6, and then uh, black is going to be able to uh, eventually push the pawn. King f4, king f6, we have to go back, the king goes to e5, and black continues to make progress, escorting the f-pawn. So therefore, we have to decide between d5 and d4. Going to d6, the pawn just bolts. So what's the trick here? If we play to d5... The king goes to f6, and maybe that's it. King d5, king f6, then we have to go to d4, and what is black going to do? Oh, excuse me, king d5, king f6, king d4, king e6 is a win for black. Therefore, we're going to have to go to d4 at this moment, so that on king f6 we have the move king to d5. Basically, we can't allow the king to get to uh, the e6 square. So, we have to start out with king to d4, and now king to d5. And the pawn takes off, but now we can hunt him down. How much further is this going to go on for? Should be solved, yeah. Okay, an important uh, detail there with the king and pawn endgames. Let's try last one. Team White. Okay, what is this story here? My first thought is to just maybe sack the queen for the... Not sacrifice, but pick up the two rooks for the queen... Would we have anything after that? It's the most forcing line, so let's consider this first. Queen takes rook, rook takes queen, rook takes rook. After a king move to one of these two, what do we have? Let's say king h7. What would we have there? Hmm. Or, yeah, I don't see a good follow-up there, but now I'm seeing uh, maybe we just capture the knight with the bishop. Move number one. Bishop takes knight. Pawn takes queen. Bishop takes queen. Bishop takes knight and... Queen takes bishop. What would we do there? That would be good. Bishop takes knight, queen takes bishop. Um, if we go queen takes queen, black can first capture the rook on f1, and only then recapture on e4. And I don't, I'm not sure what we accomplished with that sequence. What else? Hmm. sure what else to consider. I'm not sure what kind of role this uh, dark square bishop plays. Sure, we have a check here, but what is that uh, really doing? I don't see it. This bishop covers that and nearly all other black pieces. So my mind is kind of wandering back to maybe capturing on f8. Hmm. I just don't see what the follow-up would be after that, though. Rook on f8, king on the 7th rank, double rooks next. Hmm. Let me make sure I have this right. Bishop takes knight. I'm thinking the best reply is for black to take on a e4 with the queen. Do we have anything good there? We're in a pin, so our queen can't do anything... Too fancy. Hmm. 
Not seeing it. I don't think it's bishop takes knight. And I'm running short on uh, candidate moves. Um, oh, you know what it is? If it is to just take the two rooks for the queen. And then take advantage of this pin. Ah, uh, okay. So we just take on f8. Rook takes. And after the king goes to the 7th rank, we uh, pile up on the pinned piece. For some reason, I was focused on there only being one way to uh, move, move the f8 rook and attack the knight. But there are two different uh, points. We could go to f uh, e8 or f4. e8 is controlled by the queen, but rook to f4 will next uh, scoop up the knight. And what's also important to note is that... Uh, the knight, yes, he can move and give check, and there would be a discovered attack against the bishop, but our our bishop is defended. So this must be what it is. We scoop up in this uh, current position. What's the material count? We're down a pawn, but we're going to be picking up two rooks and a knight and only investing our queen. I don't see anything for black in that position. So we scoop up both rooks. Rook is on f8. King is on the 7th. Rook to f4 next. And I think we just pick up the knight. And we could do that with either the rook or the bishop. Depending on where the king goes. And uh, maybe even uh, taking with the rook. Uh, for example, after that sequence capturing on f8. King to g7. Rook f4. If the queen goes to h5 getting out of the pin and attacking our bishop on h4, we can take the knight with... Well, we could take with either piece. The idea would be if the king is on g7, we could take... We take the knight, and on queen takes bishop, we would have rook takes g4 with the fork of the uh, king and queen. So our bishop is indirectly defended, or tactically defended. So this must be what it is. Rook to f4 being the idea after we pick up the two rooks for the queen. And, oh, that's not a move I considered. Okay, so now we can't take on uh, e4 with the rook because the mate threat on g2, but we can take the knight with the bishop and defend the mate threat on g2. That's, I guess, the last little test for this one. Okay, not uh, too bad a group of three in this uh, session. Feel free, as usual, to share how you did with these in the comment section below. Hope you're having a great day, and I will catch you soon. That's all for now. Take care. Bye.